hello guys this is the video of unboxing of our new brand new celestron power seeker 60 az telescope uh, you can see the two proud owners here here is moiz and here is mohammed okay now we will unbox it and let's see what is in store for us in this beautifully packed uh, celestron 60 az telescope Come so on, shall we just open it and we start Come yeah. on, let's open it. Yeah. Open it. So you can see it is uh, uh, neatly yeah. packed where you see the manual. I think that is the manual. Yeah. There's a the manual with the series. Can you just open and show the contents please? Yeah. So our junior master is removing the manual and the series. I think it contains the yeah. CD for the manual. Uh, this is uh, the first light edition this is software one for amateur uh, astronomers we got and one there is one more cd i think there is a manual for celestron power seeker okay now yeah. then we have the instruction manual mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. this is the yeah. instruction manual which celestron provides along with this box this is the instruction yeah this 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 are this is the instruction manual for the celestron yes, power seeker series and this is a warranty card okay now we'll go ahead with the uh, unboxing our telescope now yes. let us see one by one so yes. can you have that box there please yes yes juniors yes yeah can you just open it up and yes. show what is there inside yes. it's the, this bar yeah. lens ah uh, okay bar just let me tell you this uh, can you just uh, open it completely see. we have the eye pieces here this is the 20 mm eyepiece and one more is the i think this is the 4 mm eyepiece yeah this is the 4 mm eyepiece and it also comes with uh, uh 3 into barlow lens this barlow lens magnifies the power of the eyepiece uh, multiplied by 3 times 3 in 3 into barlow so 4 mm eyepiece and 20 mm eyepiece the magnification of which will be multiplied into 3 times with this With the help of this uh, Barlow lens, and also there is a cloth for cleaning the eye pieces. Yeah, can I have the next box, please? Yeah. yeah. It's cover. Please give. Yeah, can I have the next? Quickly, can I have the next yeah. box? Can you just open it up? Yeah. The next box contains a uh, finder scope, which is which will be attached to the top of the telescope. And there is uh, one more thing, the next box, which is the star diagonal. I'll tell you how to attach it to the telescope. Then that's all in the next box. Yeah. Can can we see what is this? What's here? Here. It is. This is a tray for the eyepieces. Okay. This is a tray. Okay. Mr. Abdul Moiz, can you just take out the bigger one box? Yeah. Yeah. So I'll arrange all the things here mm -hmm. one by one. So we'll slowly uh, open this box. Now you can see the main telescope uh, body here, which is neatly packed. Slowly, guys. Slowly, slowly. Okay. 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 So yeah. can you just take out the thing slowly yeah. and keep yeah. it on the platform here? So this is the main telescope uh, tube. Yeah. Can I just remove it? Yes. Yeah. Now this is the 60 millimeter uh, objective. So this is the Celestron Power Seeker 60 AZ, and you have uh, the eyepiece end here. Now, yeah. yeah, I'll keep it aside. So let us take out the oh. tripod now. Okay. Can I keep it carefully yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. Because Now, now this, comes the tripod. This is the yeah. other uh, box containing the tripod. Can you just open it up, guys? Yeah. Yeah. That's. Can you keep it here? Yeah. Now here is the tripod. Very simple and easy to uh, open it up. now you have the tripod here this is a screw given to 
assemble the IP tray. I'm going to assemble the IP tray here. Can we just put it and tighten it? Yes. Yeah, now our junior Abdul Muhammad is doing it. No. Yeah, it is not. Yeah. Huh. Yes. Now I think, yeah, it is firmly fixed. Now we'll fix the body of the telescope. Huh? Yeah. So what we'll do is, body. now we will take the body of the telescope yeah. and fix it on the uh, stand, altazimuth stand here carefully. So One. Don't not make a chair. Only this. Oh, can, can, can you put the screw here? Yeah. Why, I mean? Yes, see, those proper Yeah. Take my other screw. Yeah. Can you put it here? Yeah. So, see, our junior is tightening the screw. So much. Yeah, helping us. So, see to it that it's firmly fixed. Yeah, I think it's fairly fixed here. Yeah. This is for the fine controls. Take out this. Take out this. Yeah, this. These screws are for the finder scope. Yeah. Where I'm going to fix the finder scope. Can you take this out, Muna? Yeah. So I'm going to keep the caps out here. Take it out. Positively. Now you can see uh, the finder scope is fixed firmly here. Yeah. Now we will take the star diagonal. Can you take that star diagonal? No, this not one? that one, that one, that one, that one, next to it. Yeah. This one, big one. This? No, no, that, that one, that one. Oh, this? Yeah. Take. I am going to fix it here. There is a cap here. Yeah, you can remove the cap. Oh, oh, no problem, no problem. So now I'm going to fix the star diagonal. Just unscrew. Pause the level. Now you can see that uh, the star diagonal is fixed. Yeah. Now we are going to uh, assemble the eyepieces, whichever we want. Can you get an eyepiece? Which? Can you take an eyepiece? This one? is the place where you... Big one? No, not one. Small one. Small one. This. Next to it. Next to it. Yeah, that one. Open. So this is the place you fix the eyepiece. So now our Celestron <coughs> Power Seeker <coughs> is ready to use. Now uh, I will show you. So this Hi. is a very simple assembly. Yes. Mm. So you can see the Celestron objective fixed to the altazimuth stand. And you have the tray with the finder scope and the this is how you have to focus. Can you just look into? Yeah. Yes. yeah, this is how you start looking. So we'll put a next, we'll uh, make a next video on how to use it and write, uh, tell you a review about this telescope. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Say thanks, guys. Hi. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.